Another big story tonight. Who is stealing history from Fort Monroe? Police say the thieves are ripping the copper gutters from buildings. Many of those buildings go back before the Civil War. The Army left that post two years ago and turned it over to the National Park Service. The New York Times' Jason Marks is live in Hampton tonight. Jason? Yeah, Tom, it really is appalling to think that thieves would steal from a place with so much history. But when it comes to fast cash, police say thieves will do whatever they can to get that money. Two years ago, Fort Monroe opened to the public for all to enjoy. I can't believe that they hit that many buildings. But police say overnight, Thursday into Friday, someone took advantage of the openness. That's, that's a good word for it, sacrilegious. But, you know, these have no conscience. This based on the clips, the gutter clips that we see here, it's probably the older, maybe more historical copper grade that was taken off this building. Ten buildings inside the moat, the most historic part of the fort. Buildings dating back to the late 1800s had copper gutters and downspouts ripped right off the brick walls and stolen. It's a shame because, it, I mean, it really is a beautiful piece of architecture. The theft happened in the section of the old post used for office buildings. There's no residents that live in this area. These buildings are not currently occupied. The placement, the location, the time of day all went into a factor, I believe, into them committing this crime. Police say it's hard to tell how much copper guttering was stolen because there were sections already missing before the crime. That makes it hard to figure out how much the copper was worth. One thing police say is certain is that the gutters are very distinctive. Some of the particular guttering that was taken is a, is a gauge, a very thick gauge of copper. And so somebody might notice it in the back of a pickup truck, even somebody that may work at a salvageable metal yard and go, you know, this is a little bit unique. I'm surprised they got away with it. The crime is even more offensive to Cato Reeves, who spent 26 years in the Air Force. Got to be making noise. I don't, I'm assuming you make noise when, you, when you're banging on pipes. Though he's not catching anything today, he hopes police will have better luck. I am amazed that somebody will even try that. Yeah, and you can see this is uh, copper right here, but this piece is much more in the open than those other pieces that were taken. Now, what makes this even more brazen is the fact that officers patrol this post 24 hours a day. There's also a Hampton Police Division field office at Fort Monroe. So obviously, uh, these, these thieves got in there, got what they needed, and then got out as quickly as possible. That's the latest here in Hampton. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.